All right, I know you guys both have a lot of things going on, so we're just going to quickly touch on the creator core and what we want to like build and achieve with it. But before we do that, I just want to give the people some context. So we've been trying to do this for like, I think three years. Sell. Yeah. Well, I think you were a part of it from the beginning too. I remember like being in the house and just kind of brainstorming on the whiteboard. Like, yo, this is what we want to do. We want yeah. to try and get X, Y, Z, these creators to come on and let's all build something together. Yes. Yeah. It's like, you guys remember that, right? Yeah, yeah I remember time. that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like it just took us hella long because we were all in different places. And over the last three years, we all grew to a point where now this actually makes sense. So I was telling Dev the other day, like, um, so I don't know if you remember, I think it was November, December. And I was just like texting you and you're like, yo, I'm free. Like, just call me. And yeah. we were talking about this idea. And then I put together, like, you know, I've just put my thoughts on like a Google deck. Mm -hmm. And I, do you remember me showing you that? I was like, no, I, I, I remember that. It was, it was super random. <laughs> I remember okay. that. So this has been a three-year process. Every year we've been trying to think of how do we actually do this? And I had like this on a brainstorm one night. I told Dev, Dev's like, just hit up Cell, see if Cell's down. So I call Cell, he answered. We talked for like, I think an hour and a half or something. Mm -hmm. And try to flesh out this whole idea of how to make the creator core work and make it so that not only you benefit in the lab benefits, but we can grow for the long term. Yes. So I want to throw, throw the mic to you guys and see, have you guys explain what, what your thoughts are on the creator core and what we want to build with it. And maybe Dev can start and then pass it to Cell. Yeah. I was like, yeah, Dev, Dev, take it away, um, man. Basically, well, well, my our goal is just to make basketball the most popular sport at the end of the day, um, and we want to have a heavy hand to play in that. Whether it be you know hooping in the backyard, hooping on the court, hooping on the outdoor court, um, it's, it's whatever that we can do to contribute to the sport. You know, every day we kind of bring something special to the culture because we kind of grew up in it, um, in the yeah. basketball culture. And a lot of people, it's, it's really hard to understand unless you were a part of it growing up and the best way that we can help you or help deliver it to you is by putting out video and just kind of showing you how our everyday is and how just how we get down because one people one thing people don't understand is like this whole youtube thing and social media thing it's not as easy as people think thanks um and you know to really get your word out there you need to collab and you need to be able to come together and and uh, do stuff with people, and that's kind of what what I what we did with Cell, because you know I, I was just kind of peeping what he's he's done for so long, and you know I I remember watching your videos a long time ago, <laughs> and and, you, and it was funny because you said the same thing, and I remember you like kind of just blowing up. Um, it kind of happened for you and Tristan kind of at the same time, you know, yeah. so it was pretty cool just to see. And you guys kind of had a similar lane with the trick shots and everything. Um, and we just happened to collab that one time and it all kind of came together. Uh, but, yeah, we were trying to do this for a while. And the whole, the whole creator's lane is just to really help build in the lab into an actual brand. Like We can do our own thing. No problem. But yeah. to actually make a brand that's long lasting, I think that you need help. Um, and I never wanted to jump in and just say, Hey, this is dev, dev, dev. And, you know, in the lab is just all me. I wanted it to become a brand because it's something that we can build and it'll live on after I'm dead, you know? And, yeah. you know, that, and that's kind of, uh, what, why I wanted, why we wanted to just build a squad. And it's not something that just everybody can jump onto. It's people that I, that I've been watching for a while that I got to hang out with for a while. And, that we're not crossing over in each other's lanes and, um, you know, trying to bump heads on things and trying to create, you know, I'm not trying to be anybody's boss. That's <laughs> my ring. I just yeah. got the ring installed. But <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying to be anybody's boss. I just want to, at the end of the day, man, I just want to really just kind of blow this whole thing up into a whole lifestyle brand with the clothing, the shoes, the, the hoop, the documentaries and, film sessions, all that, you know, we, we have such a, a strong say in just the basketball hoop community, whether you want to call us YouTubers or whatever, man, it's just like, man, we could do damage by ourselves, but we can, you can, we can go crazy together. So. Agreed. I agree. I think something we talked about before sell before you go sell is Dev always just says, like, he's trying to build a circle, like a group of people is all trying to like build each other up instead of like tearing, tearing each other back. And like, we're all, like he said, we're just stronger together. Yeah, and that's the goal we're trying to build in the lab. But so let, let's let's see your thoughts, bro. Man, it's it's crazy, you know, tenfold. Um, fast forwarding from three years ago, or actually more so, 
about eight years or so ago when 10,000 Hours was heavy with Matt and Trev and everybody. And I'm sitting there watching, like I, like Dev was saying, I'm watching episodes in class, you know what I mean? On my little iPad. So I was tuned in every day, uh, every time he dropped something. And now fast forwarding years ahead, um, when you came to me with the idea, it was a no brainer for me because I'm, I'm a big, like, I'm a big fan of the brand first. And then the relationship just came with that. Um, but with this opportunity, it's kind of like, it's kind of dope because, you know, I kind of established myself by myself. And anybody out there listening, that, that's, that's a cool way to do it. But it's also great to have help, man, because you, you're going to tie yourself out. I've, I've fatigued myself a lot early. Um, and then I had to work smarter in the later years, which I wish I was working smarter earlier. That way I could be working smarter throughout my career instead of working super, super hard, hard content, content, content and then tire myself out and then the content will lose its quality. So I actually want to, I actually want to jump in on that part because now do you remember when we all met up at the gym and it was when we were going to the EA event and yeah. we had did, we were oh. for a long time trying to get that <laughs> one dunk to go down. And like, you know, yeah. remember uh, Cornell just was trying to finish it off with that one dunk. Yes. Uh, it was like Tristan went to sale. No, it was Tristan no. to filet. Yeah. Yeah. Sell to Cornell, right? Am I yeah, right? I, I was. I, I wouldn't meet a Cornell first, and it was Tristan to Filet next. Yeah, so we were just, and uh, we went crazy when it finally went down. But after that whole day, Sell went right to the hotel. I don't know if you remember that. He went right to the hotel and, and finished the video before we got to the EA event. Oh, so, I forgot about yeah, that. Bro. We were blown away. <laughs> I was like, bro, like this is a, this is a different level because me, I like, I gotta sit in front of the camera. I gotta get music. I gotta do this. And I think you made like a million vi uh, a million views. No, yes, million but it's like views. like two point something. It's crazy. Yeah. It, it, that video went crazy, but it's just you know for me to see how hard he worked. I, I got to see it see it in person. Anybody knows like the whole ten thousand dollars in the lap thing. It's most it's a lot about hard work. Obviously, I learned to work smart later, like Sal was talking about. But it was cool because I I got a chance to see the type of worker that you were, and that's kind of why you know I meet a lot of people. Yeah, but I ain't just jumped on. You were the first person we came to. Yeah, you know, because I because yeah. I Always. saw it in person. So <laughs> like when you know when I got when I got familiar with, with the type of person that you were, and then we actually got along. Then I kind of re remember back on that. I'm like, okay, you know, this is the first person that we're gonna go after. But yeah, yeah, work hard, work smart, work smart. Now it's it's all about working smart now. Thanks. Now, I, I totally forgot about that. I totally forgot I edited it in within like an hour or two when we got into the hotel. And then, and then I couldn't believe it, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then we went, we went straight from there that night to the tournament, EA, the EA thing. It was, it was, I was, I forgot about that. I didn't even That's sleep. Vegan lifestyle right? give you energy, bro. <laughs> bro, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, come on. <laughs> but, 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 but Dave, you know what's even crazier though? Back then I wasn't vegan. So just imagine now. Oh, dang. Yeah, I wasn't even <laughs> vegan back then. That's the crazy part. I, I was vegan that next year, like the, in that January, following that year. Man, that's crazy. wild. But yeah, so like, so, you know, like I said, it, it was just cool to just experience that in person and just see the type of person that you are. Um, but but I want to give like more of a clear, like clear everything up, like kind of like our, what does it mean for him to be a part of in a lab? You know, a lot of people may be wondering, and it's just, yeah. I want to I want to include him on pretty much everything that we can do that's big. So like the first thing that we started off with um, was we got the NBA Twitch going. So like we're on there every Thursday uh, on the NBA Twitch and they got at me and they were just like, hey, we're thinking about, um, you know, bringing you back. And I was like, first person I thought of was like Sil. Because Sil, me and Sil, we got along on the, uh, first of all, we got along in person. Yeah, but it was even better. Like when we actually were calling games for NBA League Pass, like last year, they had like just a little couple of games that we got a chance to do, and they loved it. They loved like our interactions with each other, and we enjoyed doing it when we got the good games. You know, like it was like really, <laughs> other than that, it was hard like calling some of those games. Ooh, I needed coffee, but oh, I, I, do you remember like bo I think both of us said at the end of the game, we're like, bro, I was about to fall asleep. Do you bro. remember that? Bro, I remember because you were. This was the game you were sitting on the couch in your yes. living room, I was and I was, I was like, "Yo, I was like, I don't know how I'm gonna make it through this game. I don't know what game it was. But I don't it was bad. It was, it was bad. bad, bro. It was bad. <laughs> I didn't try to throw nobody out there like that. So, anyways, you know, it, it 
once we went through that whole thing, I was just like, man, like let let him be, let's be a part of you know some more stuff together. So that's kind of what it means to be a creator. Core. You're gonna see more like collabs uh, that we're going to do. I plan on getting out there. Obviously, this Corona thing is like screwing yeah. everything up. But, you know, at least once a month, I want to collab on some videos on YouTube, on Instagram, on Twitter, whatever we can. I mean, Twitter's, you know, we can yeah. collab from the, from the couch. But, you know, <laughs> uh, but I'm just saying, like, you know, all the other stuff, the videos, the content that we can make. That's what it means to grow together, to show face that, like, it's not just me anymore. Like, we're working together to build um, a common goal. And we're, do we're doing it all separate lanes. And then on top of that, just supporting each other. Like, it, you know, support is free. <laughs> I, I didn't need to I didn't I need that. for you to be a part of in the lab for me to support I was doing it before and you were doing it beforehand but like now I want to just kind of take that to a different level and everybody that we bring on afterwards I wanted to just feel like a support system and not just you know us out there by ourselves like you got a question you want to know how to do this like all right cool like this is how you do it or if i same thing with you like i'm gonna ask you a question i expect like you know us to be able to share things no it shouldn't yeah. be any secrets that we're in the lab and then uh the cl collabs on clothing that's one thing that i'm most excited about is the beanie movement <laughs> yeah. i can't yeah. wait to collab on some beanies so that's my thing yeah so i i hit sale yesterday i'm just like yo like what are you interested in because part of part of chemistry is it takes time and you have to like really get to know the other person and see what they like and see what they, you know, what they mess with. Like I'm in the anime and sales into this and I'm into that. And like one thing that we do collab on really well, or we love to do is play video games and yes. different things. Like we, you know, he was talking about Pokemon the other day. It's just like, what's some different ways that we can collab on clothing that really makes sense that we're both super passionate about yeah. that we can, it, that we can get other people to mess with. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it will be sick if we can get everybody on the Call of Duty movie, even more. Yeah. You know, and exactly. tuning into our strength and we're just having fun. It's just, that's just our culture. That's just how we get down. It's not, it's not about your cool. It's just about what we find to be cool and what we have fun doing, you know? Like, mm -hmm. that's the way I look at things. So, you know, it's just the whole collab and, and you know, the, the creator core. That's what, that's what more of what it's about. You know, just be able to come together and just share our business uh, with sale and make him feel at home and you know nav kind of meshes all that stuff together yeah Can't say i just want to add one point because we, we originally called this the starting five and we changed it to the creator core so i just want to clear up confusion and let people know that you guys may play in games together but we're now putting together a five, a starting five to go play in tournaments <laughs> like, <laughs> man, i'm 32 <laughs> i'm 32 right now bro like i i've put in my work like hooping and like, I'm not trying to actually hoop more, to be honest with you. Like I'll nice. get out there every now and then. I think sales kind of on the same vibe. It's just yes. like, you know, because you're going to end up with like a lot of wear and tear on your body. And that's part of like working smarter. It's not that we don't love basketball or whatever. Like we don't want to get out there and play anymore. It's just that, you know, there are other things that we're pursuing uh, when it comes to this whole basketball thing. I, and I'm speaking for myself, I'll, I'll let you talk sales, but like, mm -hmm. It's for me, it's just, you know, hoop, hoop, hoop. And if that's all that in a lab becomes known for is just me hoping, then it's going to flop because I can get hurt. And does that mean that the business just collapsed at that point? It shouldn't, you know, because I have, I have a squad with me and, you know, it sounds corny, but together each achieve more, but I want to, you know, continue on my narration thing. I want to continue on my film sets. I want to do this. I want to do that. It's other stuff out there than basketball just yeah. straight up hooping there's other stuff it really is and there's a lot of fun stuff out there and you know as much as i'm going to still get out there and hoop every now and then it's just not going to be you know eight times a week you know like <laughs> like when you're like a teenager or whatever so yeah, that's facts um yeah I'm, I'm on the same wave uh i'm on, i'm 25 i know that may seem young but I've had quite of a lot of a surgery, quite of a lot of a surge, quite a lot, quite. <laughs> I've, I've had a lot of surgeries early. I've had a lot of surgeries. OK, and it kind of adds years onto the body, especially when I'm playing outside, too. So I'm just after the Kenny Chow 1v1, I've got literally a thousand and one hundred and million and ten DMs. Oh, when we want me next, when we want pull up on me, pull up. I'm like, bro, I don't care enough anymore. I, I, it's it's at a point where I'm trying to work strategically. You know, I'm. 
I'm, I'm no longer trying to let my pride get in the way of playing yeah. everybody in one v one because I want to prove something. I've done to prove. I play college ball. I graduated. I'm, I'm, I'm done. I don't, I don't want to play pro. I'm, I'm content. Although I've had pro aspirations throughout the years, but it's like I'm, I'm actually content, man. You know, I got my house. I'm good. I'm, I'm healthy. I'm able to provide for myself, and my family. That's really the ultimate goal, man. And it's just to find pure joy. And what, and what would that be? And, and it really is in content creation, but not just hooping by itself anymore. So that's when, like, joining the creator core, the start of five was just a no-brainer for me. You know, there's only a, a certain amount of spots in the NBA and a certain amount of spots in yeah. the EuroLeague and a certain amount of spots, even in just college in general, you know? And, um, and even still, it's still going to end one day. Yeah, but I want to do something... I want to do more things that last forever. I want to be a part of a group that have the same similar type of aspirations that I want to just live, live on forever. And it's not necessarily just about, um, you know, hooping and everything. It's just growing as a team. And um, that that's kind of where I'm at, just to be honest. Like, that's kind of where I'm at. Like, you know, you got to think about this. We created some shorts. Uh, you know, shout out to Nap. Now you did a really good job of just putting everything together. The so, Crouch of Tiger hitting dragons. He didn't even tell me that he was necessarily going to do it exactly how he did it, but it, it was perfect because I grew up, I used to watch Crouch and I don't watch movies over, but like Crouch and Tiger hitting dragon, I've watched so many times. I'm into like martial arts, I'm into Marvel, I'm into DC, all that type of stuff. Yeah. So like, when I saw, I was like, okay, those are the ones. Like when I put them on, I was like, okay, those are the ones. But you gotta think about it. We sold out those out in like two hours. And so, you know, there, there are ways that you can still get to your NBA in your own sense. Exactly. You know, and for us, it, this is our pro league now, you know, creating a brand, like a whole brand, like like Nike. Like I'm not, I'm not shooting short for this. Like I want yeah. it to be known that I'm trying to create a really big brand and I want people to mess with it. You know, if we end up falling short and being whoever, whoever else, that's fine. But I'm aiming, we're, we're aiming really high with this. And, you know, it's just trying to convert people over to just supporting, um, you know, who you rock with instead of just what you're used to. Um, a lot of people just for so long, they see check, you know, they, they do experiments. They take, they take a shoe and take Nike off of it or take Adidas, take Adidas off or whatever. And they put the uh, different logo. They switch the logos around on shoe. And people were like, those are fire. But originally they didn't like the shoe when it was with their original logo. So what it, what it showed me is that people are accustomed to just liking what they're used to instead of just opening up and just supporting what, what is like what they really like. And so a lot, a lot of times, especially starting off, everybody thinks like this. I create a popular video, I blow up on Instagram, make a sweatshirt. Bro, Nav can tell you, it is. it don't work like that. It doesn't work like that. It, it don't work like that. You you can't just, you don't just blow up and, and just like, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I, I'm, I'm just this master uh, creator of clothes. No, like you have to, <laughs> it, it's a whole process. And, and yeah. you know, Nav goes through it every day, just and he can walk you through, I'm pretty sure he has, but it's it's a long process of creating clothes yep. and then being able to uh, sell it. Mm -hmm. Because then people look at YouTubers and Instagram or whatever, and they just think, oh, this is just like, they're just creating fake gear. This is cheap. Oh, I get it. I should get it for free. Yeah. Hook me up. Yes. Like, bro, like, wow, hook you up for what? Like, we, ha, ha, has it not been enough that you've been watching our videos for free on YouTube? Like, for the F. You, you know what I'm saying? Like. It's for free, you know, and so y'all can't just support with some, uh, and it be your friends sometimes too. Like asking <laughs> for, for real. free, it's a, I'm serious. It, it, it's and they do though. You, you can, real friends will support. I got family that are just like oh, like they cop it right away. I got friends that they cop. They're like our loyal customers. I got some people that are just like, hey yo, let me hook me up. Mm -hmm. I, you know, some kids I be training for free. And y'all can't y'all be acting for hookups? Like at least let me like don't you know? And so it's changing the mindset to like, hey, this is let's support this. Let's keep it in the family. Like if you really rock with this, rock the clothes, and let's like let this be the new empire. Let this be the new wave, you know. And so that's when we're bringing. I think a big part of what we're doing is bringing value uh, to our brand and and you know just showing 
why you should rock in the lab. Like we put a lot of blood, sweat, and tears into what we do. From from to the from the backyard to the gym, from the computer. It's a lot of work that goes into all this stuff every single day. And, and we and, and we love it though. That's the cool part about it. It's so much fun. The challenges, and now if you can speak to it, isn't it fun? Like the challenges every day of building what, a brand. It's what we wake up for every day. Like we me and Deb talk about this all the time. Like, this is what we live for, bro. Like to build the next Nike or Adidas, like yeah. it fuels me every morning and be able to bring on someone like Cell to add to that fire. It's like, it's even more, bro. Like this is a big, this is a big year for all of us. That's, that's yeah. all that can be said. How good does it feel when we sell stuff out? Fast. That's insane, so like, bro. I'm not going to speak on it now because I know we're busy, but like the whole process of like creating something and then giving it to Dev. Dev loves it. Dev wears it for a month. Cell be like, yo, I need those shorts. Everyone's be like, yo, I need these. And then we drop it and it sells out. It's just like, there's no better feeling, bro. It's just like, it just makes you want to just keep putting stuff out, keep putting it out in the world and feel like, let's just say we sold a thousand shorts. How do we, I tell Deb, how do we get to 5,000? How do we get to 10,000? Just keep mm. building. There's people, people doing that too. That's what's yep, crazy. Real. And, and so like, you know, it's, we run certain things and it's just, okay, how can we, is this going to sell out like crazy? Or is this <laughs> yeah. going to be something that takes a while? And you know, there are brands that just run it out in, in a day, in an hour. And like, you know, like things like Kif or whatever, you know, it's, yeah. you know how hard it is to get something from Kif, <laughs> like, bro, hard. You never get they it. sell it out right away, so. <laughs> I, it's hard. I have to go to the Kif store in New York. Yeah, that's only to go get something. So, you know, and, and, but it's cool that could, because now it gives us something to look forward to mm -hmm. and it, it gives you an extra reason to want to just grind every day and just work towards mm -hmm. being able to sell out like that, man. It's, it's special. It really is. And, um, it's something that, you know, we wait, like I said, we wake up and we work towards this every day, but nobody will ever really understand the grind until you actually go through it. Yeah. Um, and sometimes it's it's not even for everybody to understand. It's more for us to just put out dope stuff mm -hmm. and sell out, you know, and sell out. And, and not so much as about making money. It's a it's just making people feel good when they rock your shoes, when they rock your clothing, when when they open up a package and it feels like they're opening up a Christmas gift. Like we look forward to making everybody feel good about wearing like pride, like wearing in a lab. And the reason why is because they they watch so so many videos of, of sale. They watch so many uh, videos of 10,000 hours and they felt a part of it. We want everybody to feel like a family, like, dang, like I watched Dev whoop de -woo, like from the jump. And like, I'm, now I'm rocking this gear. And one day I might get a chance to meet him. I'm gonna just tell him like how much, you know, I run into that a lot. And so you probably like, you know, ran into that same thing, like motivated a lot of people to do this, that, and the other. Like, you know how I many people I've seen do trick shots? <laughs> You know, and it's because, like, seriously, it's because oh, for you, real, it's crazy. You know, and I and I think that's really cool. And and I, I'm I'll add on to that one last thing too about the merch side. I is it bothers it doesn't bother me, but I've seen a lot of people do it. Just because you have one video that hits a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand, just one video does not mean you automatically sell merch. You mean doesn't it doesn't like coincide that. that way? Doesn't it does not cooperate together? It has to be longevity. You have to establish a fan base first, a genuine one. Then sell merch, like as as you yeah, you don't, you'll go broke right. like that. Yeah, you'll exactly. go ultimately broke, for sure. Building you know, an audience is the first thing. What are you saying now? I was saying people underestimate the power of building an audience, which you guys oh, took yeah. years to do, and are still yeah, doing and still learning. You know? Yeah. It's just because you made them giggle a couple of times does not mean they're gonna buy, spend seventy five dollars on a hoodie. It does, absolutely, <laughs> I can tell you that straight up because when we first started doing ours we weren't selling out like that i mean we had we had a couple good runs like early on when me and george were out of his dad's um office working out of a uh you know a nail shop not a nail shop it was like a beauty uh beauty supply shop we're in a back office like uh slanging hoodies like really selling them taking them to the post office ship uh, labeling them you know getting orders wrong we we made yeah, we made I mean, so many mistakes, but like we were we had a couple of good runs, but we felt good about a hundred hoodies shipping out. Like when we first started, two hundred. Oh shoot, like bro, like we sold that many in a month. You know, it felt good because you know we started to see everything grow, but there was really no structure. So over the years, you know, obviously having Nav and everybody else just try to put forward structure. You know, it it, it comes with a lot. It doesn't just happen, but we got lucky because. 
the first thing that we had did is pulled on heartstrings, you know, and, and uh, with ten thousand dollars, it made you feel emotional and, and a reason to want to support, like uh, inspired. I, I inspired a lot of people through those ten thousand, and not me. It was it was more than just something that naturally happened. We were just training and really just putting blood, sweat, and tears, and you know that's kind of what what goes through our clothing too. The same way that we put, you know, all that work in the same way it goes through our clothing and the process of it. And, you know, sometimes Navin and I bump heads and it's not like oh, just everything's perfect. You know, I'm not, I'm not cool with some things and he's not cool with something, but at the end of the day, you know, we want to always come together and say, oh, we're going to go through the same thing. Like we, it's, it's a problem solving thing. That's supposed you to know, be. when you're trying to grow, grow, it, it's not just like, oh, let's come out with this boom or perfect. You know, sometimes it's just going to be like some some tug and some pull and, you know, and, but but that's that's a part of figuring things out as a brand. Every big brand goes through it. You know, there's yeah. a there's somebody that's cool or something or somebody that has the ultimate say so. There's somebody that has a really dope idea. Sometimes they don't go through and yeah. sometimes you make mistakes mm -hmm. and, and we never not learn that we, you know, the. You don't create something really big without making a lot of mistakes. Mm -hmm. You really don't because you are, it's the wins and losses, right? You don't, how can you really become a, a really incredible winner if you never experienced a taste of losing? Because, because it sucks losing so much that it makes you want to never do it again, even though you're going to have losses, but like you you want to learn how to win. And you know, when you really start making all those mistakes, now you can say, okay, I know this doesn't work. This is what I'm going to try now. Oh, maybe that didn't work. All right, this is what we're going to try now. Oh, we found something. Let's punch home on that. Oh, the trend changed. Now we got to go back to the drawing board. Okay, this didn't work. Okay, let's go. And it's just like, boom, we got to go all the way back over again. But that's just what it is. That's what yeah. building a business is. Things change. You know, people's taste change, fashion changes. Uh, basketball changes. <laughs> I mean, every, mm -hmm. social media platform. You know, I, I remember when Instagram wasn't around. You know, and yeah. so I remember when. So if these platforms go away, what is going to give you a reason to want to stay? You know, to keep keeping up with the backyard legend. I want to keep keeping up. I remember. You know, it's funny. I remember when uh, what is it called? Uh, TikTok came out, and you were. They use your video sale. Yeah, I know. For, for and they, they ripped it <laughs> off and didn't give you no credit or nothing. Or I, get no credit. I, I got no credit, no bread, no nothing. Yeah, at all. <laughs> yeah, but but you made that trend. You were making that transition before anybody else. You know, because yeah. you were seeing ahead of time. But you had given a reason people to want to change platforms and keep up with you. Facts. You know, because you give uh, once you give them a reason they 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 enjoy legitimately tuning in to you every week, every day, um, then you know you create longevity and you and you uh, so like I, I keep up with Tristan. Tristan is giving people a reason to want to stay because he it was just like you know the little white kid that nobody but you know thought could do this and thought could do that and they thought he couldn't hoop against black guys and then serving them. Then, then look what happened. He going out serving against people, you know, and um, you know doing. The, I, I remember talking to Nav about it. I'm like, how long is how long is the, uh, the layup movement gonna yeah. gonna be around? Like, can you just do layups forever? And then he started venturing out into other things. And that next thing, he's on the court with the Milwaukee Bucks and yeah. this and that. And some people never make those. They never evolve. Is, is my point. Exactly. It's constantly evolving, man. And that and that's what uh, we. I, I I can toot my own horn because I've. What's funny is I'm low key an OG now. Like I really am. <laughs> you know, I've been around for like ten, a lot of people have not been around for like ten years. Yeah, you know, fit, like eight years, five years, and I've I've kind of been through different. I'll, I've been to so many different algorithms of Instagram and oh, yeah. YouTube, and you know, and it's kind of cool to say that even still we're still growing, and that's what yeah. it's all about. Can can you just keep giving people reasons to want to believe? So. Anyways, not to be too long winded. Uh, that's kind of what we wanted to do with the creator core, man. Just keep evolving as a business, um, growing together and just having fun while doing it um, and growing our business. That's it. It's our business now. It's not just my business. I kind of started this thing by myself, but, you know, I'm looking for a squad out there and yeah. there's lots of people that um, we're, we're thinking about. 
that we want to join the team and help us grow something special. Uh, and I think that we can do it, you know, but it, if to anybody who's listening out there, you can do, you can do a lot of stuff by yourself, but I'm pretty sure. And as somebody who's, uh, they're kind of like a testimony to that is too hype. They grew, right. they're growing together and it's really cool yeah. to see, you know, shout out to all those guys, cash and just and all this or whatever they're doing. Um, you know, that we kind of taking a similar path, just in our own way, just growing together. Yeah. I agree. That's dope, man. So look, you guys are listening to this, you can expect to hopefully see both of these guys on the podcast a lot more. We have a lot of big things planned for 2021. So we'll leave it there. And the last thing I'll say is I'm pretty sure that every Thursday you can find Marcellus on Dev's film sessions live on YouTube. Is that correct? Yeah. Well, that's, that's correct. That's, as long as sales down, you know, we're good to go. We got some is, fun on there too. That is correct. Oh, wait, Thursday on, on Dev's, right? Yep. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> He's, so gotta, so make sure you guys get lucky, keep supporting. Who... And until next time, man, just always wait, 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 Nav, Nav, hit that button. Hit that button one time. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. <laughs> good thing, good thing I have this right. Let's go. <laughs> Look, bars. I'm in this out. I got us. Look, uh, quick bars. Find your breakthrough. Rewind it. I found my breakthrough. We got Dev, we got Nav, we got bars. We be spitting bars. We don't drive foreign cars. We got money in a bank. Money run kind of long. We invested and profited. We, dang, it's too early. I, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> hey, bro, that was really good. That was really good. Let's let's, let's end it on that high note. We're gonna, yo, this this is gonna be the year of quick bar sell, bro. We need the full official comeback. I gotta got bring it back. I gotta bring it back. Quick in bar effect. sale. I, I gotta bring it back. Let's do it. <laughs> Q, QBC. <laughs> Thanks. I'm a, I'm a, I'm I'm gonna get in the lab.